Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome to probably one of the last few videos that I do on Test Realm for Polaris. And the reason for that is today is supposedly the last day that Test Realm is going to be live. And they're taking it down this afternoon on Friday the 13th. Ooh! And uh, there is no other set dates for when it's supposed to go live again. Of course, when they do take it down this afternoon, they could just put up another date on Monday of next week it'd be like okay we're just gonna continue testing stuff but they changed a lot this week and I th it seems like they're pretty close like the, it could definitely come out on Monday in live realm but it just depends what they feel like they need to test more uh, with the Rasputin fight which is what this video is going to be over kind of looking at his gear and stuff they've gradually made the fight more difficult if you watch like the first fight that we ever did which was um, that final video that we made the sec we posted the second day that Polaris went live. Um, that one we were able to duo Rasputin and it was fairly easy. Like, it wasn't that difficult. Then the next time, if you look at my most recent Rasputin fight, which I show kind of the updated stuff, that one got a little more difficult, but it was still like fairly simple if you knew what you were doing. The third version, which is the one right now in the game is a lot more difficult and I think it requires you know three to four people that know what they're doing and it also it makes it difficult because the minions can go immune to schools and I think people said they're using Shrike that kind of thing so I haven't really tested this Rasputin fight that much I'm kinda just at the point where it's like you know I don't really care too much let's just wait until the live realm and then you know go through it and do it like that and uh, I didn't really do too much farming with Rasputin on test realm I know some other people did but I'll just go over kinda some of the things that I got I know there is hats, robes, and boots, and all that stuff. Uh, the only one I have is this one, but they're all 110, and it doesn't seem like any of them are just strictly better than the Darkmoor stuff, so that's why I'm not too concerned with it. It doesn't seem like anyone's going to be switching out their gear for Rasputin gear at this point, <laughs> so uh, we're just going to wait and see what, what's going to happen with main pieces of gear. Maybe in Polaris, we don't even see anything like that, so... Or any kind of an upgrade or legitimate upgrade for our main gear pieces. Uh, for wands, there are some new wands. And the main thing that the wands give is a lot of damage. And there's wands like this for every school. It seems to vary on the damage. I think 17 is the most that I've seen. And it can go like from 14 to 17 or something like that. And then the block and the crit varies depending on like the tier and also depending on the school. So... That's kind of how the wands are made up. Uh, this is what the wands look like. I currently have one stitched on my fortune teller's gaze. There is a 110 fortune teller's gaze that I never got yet. So I guess I'll be going for that once the uh, once the test room goes live so I can get the 110 for that wand. I mean, that's just one of the best wands in the game, to be honest. It's just like a good amount of damage and then, of course, like a really good crit and block. So one of my favorite wands. Moving on, uh, Thames, I don't think there's really anything. Uh, amulets, there are new amulets. I have one of them here for Storm. And what the amulets do is they give the bolstered ward card, which is 10% to a shield. It can't be like a TC shield or anything like that. It's kind of like sharpen for your blade, except for shields. And it will absorb more, like 10% more damage from the next incoming spell. So I can show bolstered ward off towards the end of this video. But basically, it seems like these amulets are more geared towards like a jade type of person because they give a lot of block and then they give the resist so i mean my storm would never have a reason to use this amulet and the other thing is if you have like a morganth amulet or you know you have like the amulet of the divine which might be easier i think uh, when test room goes live blue and i might even do a tartarus thing where we try to like do tartarus again and then spam the chest because there is a second chance chest in tartarus now so we might just do that i don't know because aim of the divine is more possible to get so that's something to look forward to but yeah i just only see this being useful on my life for jading because uh block is decent and then the, the resist i kind of wish there was a little more resist i mean five percent is only a slight increase from morganth i don't know what the aim of the divine's uh, resist is could be four but those are the new amulets bolster reward is is okay i mean it's a new spell but it's not like you're gonna use this uh amulet just for bolster reward uh rings this ring isn't dropped by rasputin but i still think it's a really good ring to look at and 
it's basically the crit ring for uh, Storms and Polaris that I picked up. I forgot who, so don't ask me who I got it from. And then I have it socketed out pretty well. Um, I've got a 97 health opal, 11 crit. I know there's a better crit one now. I think there's like 14 crit for specific schools. And then I have a block one for the square because I don't really have anything else. And uh, this one I've been using a little bit in Polaris because I don't really need the Alpha and Omega block. I mean, it could be useful now since they've upgraded block a little bit. But it's still an interesting ring to use because it just gives a ton of crit. And so I've been going at about like 75 to 80% crit. So I don't crit all the time. And when I do crit, there is still a high chance that the enemies will block. It's really hard to crit through Rasputin. Now it's even harder to get crits through because one, you don't even crit as much. And then two, the enemies seem to block like almost the same rate as they used to pre test room so i don't really like that change that much i mean is it really that big of a deal i mean it seems like if they had to if they're going to reduce crit that much they need to reduce the enemy's chance to block i know it's rasputin and like oh you shouldn't be critting through rasputin but i mean i don't know it's kind of nice to crit through them sometimes especially with lower crit i mean it makes sense so let me think if there's anything else oh the decks uh the decks there's new decks for every school and basically they give health block crit and the one pip this is uh, currently the best one for storm I also have the best one for myth right here and basically for these they're definitely something that I'm going to be going for these don't only drop from Rasputin I got mine I got this one from Rasputin I got obviously Rasputin I think these ones are dropped from Rasputin I don't know I feel like I've seen other people have them from other bosses and stuff so I don't think Rasputin is the only way, but maybe Rasputin's set is the best one, like, in terms of, like, the crit and block, maybe it's a little higher, the health is a little higher. But this is basically the main, like, this, these are the four stats that you're going for on a deck. There's other tiers of decks. I have this one that gives uh, lower health, block, and crit, and no pip, so it's not as good. I think I have another one, too. Yeah, this one. So basically for almost all the pieces of gear, even, like, the, like the wands and everything, there's kind of different tiers for each school, which one's better. And it's really obvious on the decks. There's also, like, different tiers in the wands and stuff, too. So, make sure you get, like, the best one when you're farming for that. But the only thing I'm going to farm Rasputin for is the amulet on my life if I want to. And then the decks are obviously an upgrade as well. So, probably just those things. Not too much. I don't really feel like I'm going to be sitting at Rasputin farming him for days. Like, he's Malister or something like that. So, the other thing to note is that there are some new May cast jewels that are dropped by Rasputin and I think there's some make us ones that are dropped by Morgan too but I don't know if anyone's farmed for those and basically what it does is it'll trigger randomly and then give you an aura for 10% for whatever school on the jewel that you have then 3% block for four rounds so I think it overtakes any other like aura that you have because I mean this is just straight up an aura so it seems like it would so like if I have galvanic field on and then I trigger this like that would be strictly worse <laughs> for me to do so I don't know if I would use this even if I had it but it's available it's drop a recipe and it's an, it's a make cast jewel I mean it's a new thing maybe we'll see more of that kind of thing in the future I mean make cast healing jewels that's I don't know it's pushing it but it, it could be <laughs> it could be a potential drop in the future we'll see what happens I'm excited to see if there's the Morganth uh, jewels I can't I'm honestly surprised that no one found those yet but Test room's going down soon today, and then I'm kind of hoping that they don't uh, <laughs> open up test room again next week, because it seems like it's pretty close to being done, and it's ready for live realm. As soon as it does hit live realm, uh, Blue and I will be starting the Polaris walkthrough on my life, and I think his myth, he said, so that'll be really exciting to look forward to that. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. We're getting really close to 100,000 subscribers. It's possible that we hit it this month. If not, we'll hit it by the end of the year, so if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, so, you know, it's a really good time to do that. And uh, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. Leave a like if this video was helpful for you, and I will see you all next time.